I guess I'll keep playing chivalry. Why don't you ever play chivalry? Because I don't have it. Why don't you have chivalry? Because, I don't know, it doesn't look like a game I'd enjoy. Uh, to go find puppies to play chivalry with. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could find people from Reddit. They're not, I mean, they're not they're puppies. really puppies. They're puppies. They're like... Some of them are worse than puppies, some of them aren't as bad as puppies. Some of them are like goons. Yeah, occasionally. They're, they're really the child-loving goons. The, the, the goons where they, they find their inner child, I mean, inside of a child.
Come here, you. I like you. Is that chainmail? Or are you wearing a dress?
Well, you guys want to play a little work on me, maybe? I'm probably just going to play a couple of games for myself, and then we're good. Unless you want to fly uh, 5-3 US plane. 5-3 US? Huh? I don't know if I even have those. Come here, you! I I'll look, though. You. How much are the British tanks, like, in, uh, in real bucks? Not... Like, twelve dollars for, like, the early one. Like the highest tier American plane I have is the Canon Corsair. Pretty damn close. Yeah, it's five zero. That's four seven. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, you're playing realistic. Okay. Behind us! Turn around! <laughs> Holy shit! The first Corsair is only two point seven. <laughs> Wow, it's a lower battle rate than the fucking Hellcat. No way! Yeah, the first curse here is a bit worse than the Hellcat. It has engine trouble, so it's a little underpowered. Okay, so let's see, in realistic, you only get one plane, right? I don't usually play airplanes, so... Oh, don't have the silver to choose a crew. Son of a bitch. So am I the only one who thinks that the IS-244 is really badly over-tiered? A little bit, not that much. The... Uh, what, 6-3? 6-7. Six, six, yeah, okay, because it's 6-7, it's seats crap. Well, yeah, I mean, it's 6-7, you're up against, you're like, like fucking place. Leopard 1s, uh, yeah, top-tier like, American tanks. The Tiger 2P is also in the same situation. I mean, granted, like, the Leopard 1 you can beat. Are you wearing a Ooh, I just owned that. But still, the worst thing is like, 485. Like, why is that tank at 5.3? Seriously. That, that's totally appropriate for it. No, it's not. It's gonna be seeing Panthers and Tigers every match, and it's worse. This way. Did they kill each other when they shoot each other? I mean, that's pretty much perfect amount. The, the only place you can really pen a panther with a T-3485 is if you shoot the turret. Yeah, which is the easiest part to shoot, because that they have to expose that if they want to shoot you. Come here, you! I like that. You know, I actually thought They're when I first encountered them. panthers, I thought for a long time that they were like super fucking OP. Nah, at all. They're actually kind of bad. 
Yeah, and then I went in and I realized that, like, the top... You know, they have, like, that two-piece armor thing around their gun. In every panther, the top of that is a weak spot. The whole front is super weak. It's only, like, 100 millimeters thick. A couple have it at 120. The, Come, which you can pen with 85. It's flat out to, like, a kilometer. Easy. So, it's really not a big deal. The Tiger's a pretty big challenge for the T-34, though. Not really. You have to be pretty close to pen them, whereas they can pen you Not pretty really. much as far as they want. Yeah. Yeah, you can kill a Tiger in a T-345 beyond a kilometer. Easy. Especially if they're down and put their hull right straight uh, towards you. Otherwise, you're shooting at the turret. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I hate missing so bad in the IS-2. So if you're in the 44, just use the machine gun to range your shot. Yeah, I had him ranged. Range wasn't the issue. He moved it just the last second, though, uh, right before I fired at him. So I couldn't really do anything. Well, if anything, this machine gun patch is a massive buff to, uh... I don't know, people say that like literally every patch too. Well, they decreased the zoom and the optics on tanks, so the engagement range for most tanks has gone down considerably. People can't see. To be fair, Veraboos get real butt mad about it, but is actually realistic, like... No, oh, yeah, no, I'm not complaining or anything, I'm just saying it's... that's the effect. Yeah, that, that's the thing, like, you get all of these Veraboos jerking off to like tigers and shit, and... Oh, you can pit a T-34 out to 2,000 meters! Okay, yeah, maybe it could. Who fucking cares? If you can hit it. Yeah, it's first if you can hit it, and secondly, like... Tank combat literally never, ever, yeah. took place at those sort of ranges. And the odds of actually being able to see someone that far away, and then range in a shot to hit it, is super low. Like, well, maybe, I mean, it's no, that maybe like, it happened me. once. <laughs> Find me in the middle of a war zone with fucking artillery and bombs going off everywhere. Find me 2,000 meters of flat, unbroken ground. It's not happening. And if you're up high or something, maybe, but man, it's still pretty damn so you're saying it's rare. Of course! In a, in a, yeah, yeah, on a flat plane. Even then, if you look at formerly flat plains in the western part, excuse me, in the eastern part of France, you'll notice they don't stay flat very long in a modern war. Like, there are apparently still, like, battlefields in France and Belgium where, like, they, they wanted to give the land back to its original owners and, like, have farmers grow shit there, but they can't. Like, they just literally can't do it. Because there's so much shit in the ground. I still wish someone would try to make a good World War One game. I mean, I guess there's Verdun, but Verdun is fun in short bursts, and then it just gets really boring. It doesn't have enough maps for one, and secondly, the gameplay is really fucking repetitive. It's just like, okay, charge, then defend, then charge, then defend. Well, why does the IS-244 only have a four-man crew? Doesn't the vanilla IS-2 have a five-man crew? No, they're, they're both. All the IS-1 uh, and 2 have four, four crew. Goddamn fucking communists. Yeah, it is odd, considering... I mean, it's, a, it's a pretty small tank on the inside, so... But it'd be nice if they had a second loader or something. 
Oh, with the IS-2, it would have especially been a problem, because that's actually a two-stage shell. Yep, that's why like, I said it would have been nice to have two loaders. Yeah, two like loaders the propellant and the, uh, shell would be dumb. the propellant to the project or projectile are two pieces. <laughs> also, <laughs> during that, I was just texting uh, my girlfriend, and uh, I look up and I'm like, oh shit, I'm at 9,000 meters. And yet, despite that, was still actually a pretty effective tank in combat. Also, because, you know, usually you're, you know, you can just have the gun stick point straight out and adjust slightly to, uh, not like you're shooting gauging at the ranges and more thunder where you have to do crazy stuff. Over here, Squire! I need help with my cod beat! Yeah, I'll help probably if you're using the HE shell in 22. You could just get a near, like a, you know, hit the ground next to the tank and people would probably bail. Oh my god, I am getting these massive fucking FPS drops all of a sudden now. Like, usually my FPS will be playable and then I'll just get like a drop where it'll literally drop down to like 3 FPS. <laughs> yeah, there it jumps back up, yeah. There's definitely some issues with the new rendering engine, but... I'm sorry, but like, every match that I'm getting into is just fucking full to the brim of 7.7s, and I'm just getting fucking shit on. Don't play 6.7. Basically, don't play anything above 6.3 graphics right now. They fucked it up, like, uh, two patches ago. It's not worth it to play, unless you already are into 7.7. So wait, wait. The IS-2 Model 44 is a 6.7. So that means that it's going to see a lot of 7-7 seven, seven matches because of the stupid 1.0 battle ranking spread and there not being yep. enough battle rankings in the game. There used to be 8 over tanks, but then, you know... The IS-3, IS-4M, and T-10 are all 7.7. 7. Yes, as is the mouse, the Leopard 1. Why? The Why? I don't... I don't understand. Why? Because the people who balance this game are idiots. Especially for tanks. <laughs> like, they just add more battle rankings. Like, seriously, just add more fucking no, battle rankings. Then people can't find oh, yeah, they okay, don't understand people... that people are playing 7-7 seven, seven now, not because they're playing the high top tier tank, not because they're more fun or anything, because they can stomp on a bunch of 6-7 people. Is that chain mail? Or are you wearing a dress? Come here, you. I like you. <sighs> well, I think that the 1.0 battle ranking split's fucking stupid anyway. Well, it's not that bad for planes, but it's really dumb for tanks. <laughs> well, and a part of the reason why it's not that bad for planes is because they have more battle rankings. Do that, and any plane can shoot down any other plane. Yeah, whereas, like, there are some tanks that, like, literally cannot kill others. But I mean, okay, so I'm in my IS-244, how did they think it's a good idea that I'm literally getting into matches with the tank that was specifically designed to replace the IS-2 and be superior to it in every way? Yeah, yeah again, there's it, all the 6-7 tanks get into those games, so not an IS-2 only issue. It's a systemic issue with the game. Here's a kind of excellent but you know, as much as I bitch about it, I'm not gonna quit because this game's still better than World of Tanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They promised they'd never do it, but then they also promised they'd never add in the spotting mechanic that they added in in this yeah. patch, so... Though, actually, the spotting mechanic right now isn't that bad. Um, they just need to adjust it a bit. Yeah. It needs to be adjusted, and it actually... Unless you're talking about arcade tanks, because I think that's different, I have no idea. I've never played that. Well, the Still. whole thing where tanks will literally just disappear... 
<laughs> you know, again, I wouldn't have a problem with it, and this is how I think they should do it, okay? What you do is instead of just, like, okay, I guess you have to make tanks invisible to, you know, simulate the whole, like, your crew can only physically see so far thing. That, that's alright. But, yeah, but like, what you should do... Always render within a certain distance. Done. <laughs> yeah, always render within a certain distance. And also, what you should do is you should make it so that light tanks and, like, the upcoming wheel vehicles, which they've confirmed, will have significantly better optics on them than will other tanks. So then, like, those guys can play and be, like, fast recon and zoom around the battlefield marking targets for their allies, which, you know is, like, a thing that actually does happen in real wars. <laughs> Lightly armored, fast forces scout ahead of the main thrust and do reconnaissance and use their radios to radio in the positions of targets and other points of interest. Like, that, that is a thing in real war. And the thing is that shitty is, like, that was actually the purpose of, like, tanks. But in this game, they're just not, don't really have any purpose except, you know, shooting hilarious Sabo rounds. What they should do is give, uh, scouting tanks a, um, some sort of ability or module to, like, paint a target, basically. Where yeah. If you, where if you, like, hold the button while your cursor is on the tank. Lights it up for anyone within a certain distance, a certain range of you. Or, like, everyone in your squad gets a little icon on their mini-map saying, there's an enemy here. Maybe not, maybe not limited to squad, but limited to within, like, 500 meters of you. It's still a game. Can't have it super realistic, 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 it's kind of dumb. And then, see, there could be another thing that they could do with that. Like, right now, the radio operator in, in tanks just doesn't do anything. Like, there's no point. Well, in realistic, I don't know how it works in arcade. Uh, right now, when someone gets shot or you shoot someone, uh, your radio man will relay position to friend them. And then, depending upon their skill, that affects how far away the friendlies um, can be and still see it. But you have to already shoot them, and usually that ends up making, you know, either people see you because, you know, you shot. It's pretty obvious. Or, um, you kill them with one shot and it still highlights their spot anyway. But it doesn't actually just highlight the tank, it highlights the position of the tank. The arrow. Well, yeah, no, I mean, like, that, that should be... Which could be cool for light tanks to be able to sit around shoot track a bunch of tanks or something, and then people know where they are. Yeah, and then, like, you know, they could even add, like, some anti-camping feature into it, where it would give you their last known position, and if they move around, then it, like, won't track them, but... But yeah, that's, it, that's what it does right now. At least, if there's, like, an arrow there for, like, ten seconds. Even if they move, it's, it doesn't move. It just sits in their last known position. Where they got shot, basically. Yeah, uh, but okay, make that an actual, like, mechanic where you can press butan and that will happen. Yeah, that, that's, that happens for all tanks right now. You know, actually, I wouldn't be opposed to it either if, like, only fucking light tanks and command tanks could call in artillery. Like, make artillery a lot stronger and then make it so that only certain units can call it in. Yeah, I'll have to bring it back so that it's an actual physical thing on the map that planes can go shoot down. Blow up, whatever. You know what would be nice, though? If a uh, fucking recon or command tanks could spot targets and then planes could see them. Oh, that'd be another nice... Well, that's the thing right now, too. Um, when a ground vehicle gets shot, that arrow is um, for within, like, 500 meters or so for everyone, including planes. Yeah, the problem but is, though, I think they need something a little more way. obvious for planes because they're moving so fast. Yeah. No, I mean, like, that that would actually legitimately be cool. Like, oh, your teammate, you know, he's in a light tank and he's sneaking around and 
you know, zipping around and marking targets, and then his buddy in the squad in a bomber is going around and eliminating the targets he marks. Like, again, this this is a thing in, in actual warfare. Yeah, I mean, you kind of do that if you're on, like, voice comms or something. But it's to the purpose! I think, honestly, command tanks should... They should add in way more command tanks into the game, and then they should make it so that... Like, okay, so like you're in a ra you're in a tank, your radio gunner dies, then that means that you can't receive spotted targets from like your light tanks. Okay, and then like command tanks would make it so that like the radio radius is like way stronger and it can go to other people and all sorts of shit. Yeah, but then what happens when your team doesn't have a command tank doesn't have a big one? Get good? But it's random matchmaking. What? I said, but it's random matchmaking. So that, that, you can't have too many specialized abilities like that. That would tend to unbalance the game. Or, instead of adding command tanks as a unit, they could add command tank as a role and make it so that, like, one guy on your team, no matter what, is automatically assigned command tank. They really should just make it so tanks always are rendered. If you see it, you see it. But they're not going to do that, because man, people who are playing on, like, decade-old notebooks can't play. You see, the thing is, though, like, they've already confirmed they're going to add in wheeled vehicles and scout cars, so I have to ask, like, what? What is their role going to be? Like, why should I play one? Yeah. It's like, I'm in a vehicle that can literally be killed by machine guns, so why should I even bother taking it out? in this game can take, like, multiple 50 caliber rounds to the face and only be injured. Oh, it's, it's even worse sometimes, man. I've seriously... It seems to happen the most with American TDs. Like, I've had times where I've literally put an APHE shell straight through the fucking head of a driver inside of those tanks, and he just turns yellow. Yeah. It's like, I'm sorry, no, motherfucker, I literally blew your fucking head off. Yeah, like, that's why I'm playing 234, so the 76s, I always bring a HE or shrapnel around, like, turn those fucking AAA trucks inside out. Oh yeah, that thing flops up the AAA, and there's a lot more AAA driving around now, because they've realized that the, uh, the better American and German, uh, AAA can kill T-34s from the side. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes in the, um, through the breach. Yeah, that first one the Americans get with the two big guns on it, I think they're 37s. Lay with dogs. Yeah, yeah, that thing can actually fuck up T 34s. No! Right! No! Yes, So I'm pretty sure that if that thing can kill T 34s, it can also take out PZ 3s and 4s from the side. Yeah! can kill a Panther from the side. Yes, my lord. No! Right! Yes! No, my lord. No, my lord. Right! So the P-38L has hydraulic, uh, boosted aileron. Holy shit, they can roll. Still suffers from shitty compression on the elevator. Oh shit, I get the air brakes. Oh. Oh.
like the P38L is pretty much the poor man. He's what he's living in. He gets dive slaps. Let's go! I got it. They're shitty little things. They don't just lay down as much, but enough to some of those Pershings or whatever with the rockets. Killed two of them. Owned. Your cankers swell so much that they would stretch the sides of the world.
beat thee, but I shall infect my hands. I do declare that you're open to incontinence. Disagreement, yeah? Oh, yeah. 
man of wax! <laughs> I do declare that you're open to me! Yes! Aren't those, uh... Aren't those rocket potions even more expensive than the Calliope? So I killed two dudes that are in, like, fucking $50 tanks? And they had to buy the Calliope before the rocket version. What if it was actually pronounced Ron Paul? 
Oh, God, I wish these guys would stop throwing fucking grenades at me. Thank you. 